Hello guys and gals. We are back with another installment of Banner Boy Roan. Bum ba da dum. Alright, so now what happened last time is we defeated Two Blade Pete, an evil version of Peter Pan, who's instead of stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, he stole from everyone and kept the money to himself, blah 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 blah. So we killed him, because he killed my friend. Now we gotta go talk to Logan, because Logan summoned us. I think. I don't know, it's been a while. So, the floating Griswold. And here we go. You're just in time. Minister Codicus says there's a child missing. As part of my community outreach program, ministry officials treated a group of orphans to a day at the carnival. One of the boys wandered off, and now we can't find him. Poor little guy. Oh, no. I can help search for him, Minister. Good. I leave this in your hands, then. Since Captain Zachary has such faith in you, so do I. I need to get back to the Ministry. We'll talk again soon. Mm. The boy's name is Garen. He's ten years old and wearing a red shirt. I've got Seraph out searching, too. Never seen Codicus so worried. Must be concerned for his political career. I hope the boy's alright. I'll start by asking around at the carnival. Maybe someone saw him. The circus has a performance every afternoon. If you head down there and talk to the entertainers, you might find someone who can tell us more. Alrighty, visit the circus. Okay. So now we have to go downstairs and visit the Divinity's Reach Circus. So when you're in the when you're in a city and it shows where your story is, it shows these green arrows. And sometimes it leads you on a roundabout journey, but at least it tells you kind of where to go. Or you can use the waypoints, but why not follow the green trail? Doesn't do no harm. So we go... Then we go down this elevator right here. Another thing is the elevators. There's elevators in all the cities. The Divinity's Reach elevators are pretty straightforward. But the most confusing are um, the elevators in... In the Black... And I've never seen elevators in Radasum. I don't know if they have elevators in Radasum. I don't think they do. Anyway. Elevators are a thing that can be quite useful sometimes. Alright. Isn't the circus glorious? It's so bright and exciting. So different from the streets. Circus is a ministry plot to lull citizens into complacency. It's a big conspiracy. <laughs> Whatever you say, Alice. At least the popcorn is good. There's our friend Riot Alice. Hey, hey, it's Banner Boy Roan. Can you believe this nonsense? The government's giving us bread and circuses when they should be giving us freedom and truth. Why would the government do that? The circus is one one of the few bright spots in the city. It gives people a little joy. Oh yeah? Well, the caramel apples are terrible. I think they're secretly used deformed pears. <laughs> I'll be sure to alert the Seraph. The carnival won't get away with such a devious ruse, as promised. Alice is nutty. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Carnival Gambad. I'm afraid our clown couldn't make it. He was feeling kind of funny. Oh ho 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 ho! Har har har! Three of our most impressive performers to entertain you. 
Stand back and prepare to be amazed. Ooh, he disappeared. Bum bum bum. Comes Boris the Beast. I am Boris the Beast, the strongest man in Syria. I can break anything. I I need volunteers. Any of you sturdy looking men in audience care to come up here? No, oh, I don't know. I look I look pretty me, buff. Me. I look what pretty buff. <laughs> All right, this guy, this scrub. Come from a Deldremor quarry. Only the finest dwarven tools can even chip this hardy skull. Go ahead, sir. Take this hammer and give it a whack. Oh, what wow. right through it? It's the real thing, all right. Not the holographic. You better get some exercise, sonny boy. Now, witness an incomparable feat. Oh no, it broke it, it exploded. Oh my god. Hooray, Boris. Yay. Bye, Boris. With my sixth sense, I shall look into the future. Trust Madam Gilda, my puppets. Wait, I'm sensing something. A very powerful energy coming from someone in the audience. <gasps> me? I see a dark me? 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 Scattered within. I see the tides of revolution. Alice, those are your father's plays. She's talking about you. You say your name is Alice? How strange. I see a different name. This is a bunch of bunk, I tell you. Fortune telling is a sham. You will find a greater faith beneath the city, young lady. Good day. My sixth sense grows weary. Oh, my and sixth sense is so weary. Thank I must you. rest. If you wish to know your fortune, come by my tent later and cross my palm with coin. Mm. Pay me and I'll tell you lies. Chakravarti. <laughs> Snake Charmer. Keep your distance, please. The pernicious viper is one of the deadliest species in Syria. It's ten times more venomous than a cave spider. Twenty times more aggressive than... Hey, Wrigley, get back! Hey, that's not the ball Alice. Wrigley's gone rogue! Help! Someone help! He'll kill us all! Thank you. Thank you. I mean, uh... All part of the act, folks. Just one of Madame Gilda's illusions. Yes, just an illusion. <laughs> Poor Wrigley. Oh, so sad. You're the cute little snake. That's all, folks. Thank you for visiting the Carnival Gumbad. Be sure to purchase our newest souvenir, the Floating Griswold. Ooh. A toy to amaze your friends and baffle your enemies. What is the Floating Until Griswold? Until next we meet, my beloved audience. Farewell. What is the Floating Griswold? I have to check with my friend again. I bet she's like, mmm, this Floating Griswold is bad business. You should have let the snake go. It was only struggling against its tyrannical oppressors just like the rest of us. I'm sure that defending the proletariat was its goal. Hey, have you seen the little boy in a red shirt? Lots of kids. None of them alone, though. Who are you looking for? Is it a spy hiding a magic golem at kid disguise? It's just a lost child. I'll ask the performers. Maybe they've seen something. Thanks. I've gotta go. I heard that Silvari called in the city trying to turn the plants against us. Watch out for the trees. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Talk to Madame Gilda. God's blessings. Your aura reveals much about you. Tell Madame Gilda what it is you are seeking. 
I'm looking for a lost boy who may have come this way. He's about ten, wearing a red shirt. Have you seen any unattended children? I have not. But boys love snakes and snails and scaly drake tails. I'd talk to the snake charmer if I were you. Thank you. I'll do that. Hmm. I see it. I see that you will find the child. You will, however, also uncover startling secrets. Beware the Griswold! Ooh, beware the Griswold! And here you are. Can you tell me my future? Of course I can! But you have to, but to ask. Consider your question carefully, young banner boy. Will I become a great hero like Logan Thackeray in Destiny's Edge? Tell me, will, will we survive the dragons? How do I keep Kratos safe? I want the city of Divinity's Reach to cheer my name. Is that possible? Uh, uh. If you are truly to keep Kratos safe, Banner Boy Roan, I foresee that you have to first place it in danger. Good luck. I think I always choose that option. That's kind of boring. Pardon me. I'm looking for a boy in a red shirt. He strayed from his group and hasn't returned. I'm hoping he came this way. I saw a boy. He asked if I'd ever met a snake I couldn't tame. I told him that snakes just need love, like everybody else. Interesting. But did you see where the kid went? Yeah. He called me a weirdo and went to gawk at Boris the Strongman. I'm sorry, but my snakes were called on my total- Ow! Concentration! Hmm, does that look infected to you? Uh, I'll leave it to you. Leave you to it then. Mm hmm. Alright, running away now. Mm hmm. Dr. Boris. Boris. Hey, skinny! Come test your strength against Boris! Boris is daring you! You call me skinny? No time for that. I'm looking for a boy in a red shirt. You call me skinny? Hmm? Have you seen him? Yes, Boris has seen boy. He asked how to build bigger muscles. Boris told him he must work hard. He said he'd rather have a Griswold and went to the stables. Griswold? That's the second time I've heard that word. What is it? Boris does not know. Boris suspects, but Boris does not speak until he is certain. Go to the stables. You will see for yourself. Smart man, Boris. Don't speak until it's certain. I have to search. Hey, rude. Oh dear. Oh dear. Grizz. Excuse me, I'm looking for a lost child. A little boy around ten years old in a red shirt. His name's Garand. No entry. Employees only. Unauthorized access. Kill the, the intruder. intruder. <laughs> what? Looks like, Jaw, I don't want any trouble. You stay away from me. Kill the intruder. Hey, Rube! Hey, Rube! Uh-oh. Can't catch me! Can't get me! Can't touch this. Report to Logan in his office. Oh, I killed a few people. Now I gotta go to Logan. Aren't you proud of me, Logan? I killed three people. And uh, I'm gonna use a teleport this time because this video is getting a bit long. Floating Griswold. There's something rotten at that carnival. Good 
couldn't find the boy, but I believe the workers know something. I was ambushed by a pack of glassy-eyed carnies. Hmm. Carnies don't trust outsiders. Maybe you should go undercover. There's a carnival training camp near Beetleton. If you can get hired, they'll be more likely to talk freely to you. Join the carnival. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to hear that. I'm in. I'll be just outside the carny camp with a squad of Seraph. Signal when you learn something, or if you need help. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm off to join the circus. Hooray, hooray, hooray. And good day, good day, good day.